Hey everybody, Carl here with my first CentOS tutorial on my channel. CentOS is going to be joining us in, their, uh, in our tutorial family, so we're going to go ahead and start it off simple with how to set up a Gary's Mod server for CentOS 7. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Go ahead and open your favorite terminal program, and let's log in. Alright, just as the same as Ubuntu, we're going to go ahead and start by running sudo, but we're going to be using yum as our packet manager and update. We should always run an update before beginning anything. Once we updated everything, we're going to go ahead and start installing some applications. First thing we want to install is screen, so sudo yum install screen. Um, the next two commands are going to be 64-bit uh, dependencies. They're actually 32-bit dependencies for 64-bit. So if you have, if you're running CentOS 64-bit architecture, you'll need to run the following two uh, commands, which, and they're going to be sudo yum install glibc space libstdc plus plus. This is needed for Steam um, Steam CMD on CentOS 64 bit. Mine already has it installed. Yours may. Not sure. It was covered in the uh, article that I wrote, or that I read rather, and um, I was making sure. I'm not sure if it comes standard or not with the 64 bit. So the next one we're going to do is sudo yum install glibc.i686 space libstdc plus plus dot i686 this is needed also for steam cmd uh, for 60 bit 64 bit users great once that's installed we need to go ahead and set up steam cmd so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and create a new directory we need to make sure we're in our home directory so make sure you're in the home directory if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to make sure you're in home directory just go ahead and type cd and then enter and it'll take you to your home directory so sudo mkdir steam cmd we will go ahead and change directory so cd steam cmd we need to download steam cmd so we need to type in sudo wget http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam powered dot com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz once it's finished downloading go ahead and do a quick ls to verify the contents there they are next we want to do is we want to pretty much extract it so sudo uh, tar negative x v z f steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gc just quickly just do a quick ls and you'll see all the new files and folders that were uh, extracted into the directory so let's go ahead and run steam cmd so sudo period forward slash steam cmd dot sh great once it's done downloading updates and installing we're going to go ahead and log in as anonymous Once we are logged in, we need to pretty much specify where we want the server to be downloaded and installed to. So, so force underscore install underscore dir, and we're just going to go ahead and do uh, period period forward slash gmod. Enter. Then we want to go ahead and download Gary's mod server. So app underscore update, and then the ID which is four zero two zero, and then validate. This is a large game, so it might take it a minute to download, so just be patient. Alright, once it's finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and exit <coughs> um, Steam CMD, so just type in quit. 
and I'll exit Steam CMD. All right, so let's go ahead and move it to our GMod directory. So we go to CD period period forward slash GMod. We're going to do a quick ls. So you can see all the pretty files and and folders that are in there now. So we need to go ahead and set a screen uh, to our Gary's Mod server. Now, the reason why we want to attach Gary's Mod server to a screen is because if we ter close the terminal and it's not attached to the screen, the server is going to crash. So what we want to do is do sudo screen negative capital S, uh, and we're going to go ahead and name it Gmod. Oops. And you see it's going to open a new terminal window here. So what then what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and run the server. So sudo period forward slash SRCDS underscore run space negative game Gary's mod one word we're gonna use the uh, plus max player I'm gonna set mine to 8 I'm gonna go ahead and use plus map I'm gonna go ahead and just use GM underscore construct you're gonna press enter uh, it's not recommended that you run the server as a root user it's even going to tell you if you look, it says warning, running the dedicated server. As root is highly discouraged, greatly, yeah. Uh, you don't have to use the sudo command. I just do. I don't have really have a rhyme or reason for it. Once you see the VAC secure mode is activated, your server is done. Then what we want to do is we go ahead and detach from our window. So you can hold the control A D key. And uh, it'll say that you detached from uh, Gmod. So if you want to ever reattach to the screen, you can go ahead and just type in sudo screen negative R and then Gmod. And then it'll reattach to the screen. And uh, that's really all there is to it, guys. Other than if you're running this on your internal network at home, you'll need to port forward port uh, 27005 and 27015, both TCP and UDP. If you, if you have this on VPS or using another hosting provider, you won't have to do any port forwarding. Just access the server through that IP address. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list the wiki, the um, Gary's Mod wiki uh, site in the description. So you can go off and look at some of the other flags and some configurations. So you can go in there and play with that a little bit. And yeah, guys, that's all there really is to it. I, really, I hope you guys enjoy the first CentOS tutorial on my channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. If you want to see more CentOS 7 tutorials in the future, uh, subscribe. And uh, if you have a suggestion for something I should cover, leave it in the comment section. I'll see what I can do about it. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you next time.